going on guys it's Akitix here uh, bringing you guys another tutorial and in this video I'm going to be uh, going over how to make your own color correction in Photoshop which is a super highly requested uh, tutorial so I'm finally going to be going over it it's actually much easier than you guys might think so follow along so first up let's open up our Photoshop and let me bring in a render let me see what I can get here um, I'm going to use just something random, all right. This is something simple. So, first up, I don't like to have the plain or empty background. So, if you have black as your back color, and you just hold Control, then click the new tab or the new layer button here, and that opens a layer beneath your current one. And then you click back. Con I mean, Control Backspace and that automatically fills your background with the back color. If you want it to be the front, you just do Alt Backspace. So first things first, let's open up a new folder and let's call it CC. And hold on a second, there we go. So first things first, let's go through the tools we're gonna to be using to make our color correction. Essentially, you're gonna be finding them all right here and these are the same tools which you can find here. And if you want this layout for Photoshop, just go to Window, Workspace, Essentials, Default, right here. And so let's start with the first thing, which is going to be our gradient map. And you'll see every time you bring in something new, it'll make a radical change, but we'll fix up the, the options to make it look nice. So once you've brought in your gradient map, which is also right here, just click on it, and let's make our first color. So I like to use something two very contrasted colors but that look very nice together so for example dark purple and bright yellow I mean bright orange once you've made your gradient map you're gonna go to your blending options and then go to uh, screen right here and then just turn down the opacity to something like 30 percent so already we've got a pretty big change in the entire coloring of the of your render and as well as you can see in the background it's no longer just a plain black it's gonna add a overall nice color to the rest of your background. So next up, let's go through Vibrance. And this is similar to what your hue and saturation would do. Essentially, you turn up the Vibrance and it just picks up some, uh, some detail on your, on your render. So it's up to you what you wanna do. If you wanna have like low saturation where it's nearly black and white to have like an icy style, or if you wanna turn up your saturation and have some nice color in it, that's entirely up to you. Next up is Curves. This is probably one of my favorite and most used tools. And essentially, this allows you to fix up the lighting on your entire uh, color correction. As you can see, just by barely moving this, this little line here, it really does change the lighting on your entire color correction. So make sure you see, you don't want to have too much contrast, something like this, or if you go up, you don't want it to be too bright. So just keep something, something like that. It's discreet, but it's a good change either way. Let's bring in another gradient map, leave it on black and white, and then change the blending option to overlay. I, what's, that's what I usually do when there's just black and white. I just like to keep it on overlay, and then I turn down the opacity as well. So there we go, just like that. And as you can see, we've already made a pretty good improvement on uh, our overall render right here. And then if you want your entire background to be based off the, the same color, so for example, let's say you want your background to be entirely blue, you're going to, on top of every other layer, make sure it's on, on the very top, you're going to bring in a hue and saturation, which is right here, hue and saturation right there, and then you're just going to switch up the hue, and as you can see, as I move the scroller along, it changes the color of the entire color correction. So that's just something to keep in mind while you're doing this. And let me just turn on this a bit. There we go. And I'm actually quite happy with this right now. Let's see what else I can do here. Uh, that's actually pretty much it. You can always mess with everything else here. Uh, for example, let me just turn down the brightness and turn up the contrast. There we go. I'll give it a bit of cleanliness. And uh, there's the difference. So it's not, it doesn't seem like much now, but when you actually put it in the background, it'll help you blend your stocks much better. And uh, yeah, so that's actually it. That's, it seems like so simple, but it's such a great way to make your own color corrections. It's awesome when you're looking, uh, when you can't find the right color correction for your render and stuff like that, you can just make your own. 
And so if you guys don't know, I do have my own uh, CC pack. I do sell this. It has something like over 65 epic color corrections. I have taken some from packs, for example, like Ethan's old exclusive, but I have edited every single one. So there's no uh, taken or stealing color corrections. I've edited every one just so that they're all modified to my liking. And I'm sure you guys would like it too. So there's some pretty sick uh, color corrections in here. I can give you some examples. Let's see what I got in here. I can just show you some some cool ones. And uh, these all look really great with all kinds of styles. They all look really awesome. So if you guys are interested in buying it, just let me know on YouTube. Just send me a private message. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I told you it was really simple, but it does work great when you can't find the right color correction for your background. And so yeah, basically just to go over what we just talked about, the main tools you want to be using is hue and saturation curves and the gradient map and then if you want just to have some uh, some like contrast and brightness and some other settings you can always play with so if I were you I would just mess around with every single one here and just see what they all do and I'm sure you can come up with a good uh, combination so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed and if you did make sure to drop a like and please let me know what you want next tutorial to be peace